Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. So this is a video I wanted to do for a minute. Um... <clears throat> so, this season was actually one of my favorite seasons of the 2000s, the 03 season. Because Kobe, he was going nuts. T-Mac, he was going nuts. AI was going nuts. Tim Duncan was a fucking beast on both ends. So was Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Then you had, you know what I'm saying, Ben Wallace and my Pistons. We was coming up. You know what I'm saying? And, um... This is my question to y'all. Who do y'all think should have really won the 2003 MVP? I know Tim Duncan won it, you know what I'm saying, and everything. But in my opinion, I think it was due to... You know what I'm saying? The best player on the best team. I mean, the Spurs had 60 wins. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the Magic were 42 and 40, but, but Trace McGrady didn't have, you know what I'm saying, no solid team for real. You know, the Lakers, they won 50 games. Minnesota won 51. So it was all, you know what I'm saying, everybody um, really had their own case. Then you had Sacramento, 159. So the top five for the uh, MVP was, of course, Tim Duncan won, Kevin Garnett, Kobe, Bryant, Tracy McGrady, and Shaq. In my opinion, just my opinion, y'all can say I'm biased or whatever like that. Kobe or T Mac should have won the MVP. You got Tim Duncan, 23 points per game, 23. 13 rebounds, four assists, 0 0.7 steals, three blocks, 51% from the field, 27% from three, 71% from the line, 16.5 win shares, win shares per 48 minutes, basically 20, uh, 0.248. Kevin Garnett, 23 points, 13.4 rebounds, six assists, 1.4 steals, 1.6 blocks, 50% from the field, 28% from three, 75% from the free throw line, 15.6 win shares, 0.225 win shares per, per uh, 48 minutes. Then you got Kobe. You know what I'm saying? You got Kobe. 30 points per game. Seven rebounds, six assists, so 37 to six, 2.2 steals. He averaged the most steals out of the top five. 0 0.8 blocks, 45% field goal, 38% from three, 84% from the uh, free throw line, 14.9 uh, win shares, poor, poor, poor. Win shares, I'm sorry, and 0 0.210 win shares per 48 minutes. Or 0.210, however you want to do it. And you got Shaquille O'Neal with 27.5 point, 27 points, 11.1 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 0 0.6 steals, 2.4 blocks, 57% from the uh, field. Didn't take no threes. That's the first time I've ever seen some shit like that. But 
62% from the free throw line, 13.2 win shares, 0.2, uh, 0.250 win shares per 48 minutes. So you see the records, but you also see, you know what I'm saying, the stats and everything. You got T Mac who had 32 points per game, right? 32 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 1.7 steals, 0.8 blocks, 45% from the field, 38% from three, 79% from the free throw line, 16.1 win shares, 0.262 win shares per 48 minutes. He leads the top five in win shares per 48 minutes. Points, you know what I'm saying, and on top of that, he had the worst team, but still, in my estimation, I think Kobe Kobe probably should have won the MVP. That's just my opinion, and if not Kobe, personally, if if not Kobe. I really think T Mac had a had a case. If we just going off a most valuable player, if we going off of what that means, most valuable player, T Mac or Kobe should have won this MVP, bro. Cause you gotta remember, Shaq was out for remember, Shaq was out this year. That was that uh that what nine game stretch where he had forty points, where he had a forty point game in every game. Nine games straight, just going crazy. And T-Mac was dominating over there in the East. You feel me? So it's like, bro, that's just my opinion. Then rounding out the top ten, you got AI, Dirk, Ben Wallace, Jason Kidd, Chris Webber. You know what I'm saying? So this is just my opinion, man. Who y'all think should have won, man? I think Tim Duncan should have won it. It was right voting him. I think KG, Kobe, T-Mac, Shaq, which one of them you think should have won? Y'all let me know. It's been Hood's Hendo. I'm out. Peace.